Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do an unboxing and a first look at the new, well it's relatively new, WL Toys 124018 right after this. So I want to do a unboxing, see what's in the box here uh, for the WL Toys 124018 and a you know first look overview of this guy because it's relatively new. Now it has been out for a few months and there's two versions of this but they're essentially the exact same car. If you subscribe to my channel or if you viewed my channel in the past you know that I did review the 124019 which is this guy right here. Let me grab it off the floor. This is a pretty much the exact same car as this car, except for it's a little different body style. That's what I'm getting at. That's pretty much the only difference between these two. But I had an opportunity to uh, get this car from, I think the website was the God Toy is the name of this website. And it reached out to me and asked me to review something off their website. And I chose this because this is a nice car. So let's just really briefly look at uh, what it sell, says here on the box and then we'll go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So as you can see, they show you here on the front, it's got both cars, this one, and then this obviously right here, this different style buggy is the one that I have. And it's got the model numbers here, as you can see it's check marked on the 18. And yeah, it's, it's got some of the other specs on here. I don't think there's a whole lot on the box. It mentions just a little bit of the stuff here on the front. But most everything else is obviously going to be listed on the instructions inside. So let's go ahead and we'll move the camera closer and let's go ahead and unbox this. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and see what is inside the box. Obviously, we got your instruction manual here with a small uh, 2S LiPo, I can tell, charger. Of course, I already know that's what this comes with but since it is essentially the same. As I showed you guys a while ago is the 1.9 version. But it shows this particular style of the buggy here on the front. And um, let's go ahead and pull out these inserts here and set them to the side and get the car out. I'll try to make this rather brief, guys. And here is the car. It is really sharp looking. Really nice looking car. <laughs> Lots of metal parts. That's why these WL Toys cars are so popular. The 144001, which I got sitting on the shelf behind me, you can't see at the moment, was sort of the predecessor to these, but it was 114th scale. This is 112th scale. It's a little bit bigger, like a stretched version of that. And I've seen that they have a 110th scale coming out, which I'm super excited about and hope that I can get my hands on that one early on because I'd love to be able to feature that on my channel. But this is a 112th scale. And it's just a different body, but it has the same metal oil filled adjustable shocks there. And you do have the two uh, riders here, the driver and the, and the passenger here in the car, like an off-road, you know, uh, Baja type buggy. This is, you'd, you'd see like a racing off-road uh, off buggy. And it's got the uh, metal dog bones here, guys. And it's got metal cups too. So sometimes you see plastic cups on some of the lower price stuff. And that's obviously a weak point on the ones where there is plastic because that could break, but this is metal. So that's more um, durability. That'll hold up better than the plastic ones. I'm sure this has full um, uh, ball bearings in it. The uh, turn buckles here are also metal. So you don't have, you know, pre-molded like I have on my, on the PX Toys uh, Prana, which I showed you guys in that video the other day. Uh, when I was talking about it. Of course, you got the spare tire here up on top, which just is a fully functional tire. If something would go wrong with this wheel or tire uh, on the car, you could pop this up and put it on there. And yeah, I mean, it's got the whole uh, chassis here is all metal. It's not plastic. And there's some plastic off to the side, but the main chassis and support system here is all metal. So it's really, really, really nice. Now, if you're not familiar with the, uh, you know, the previous buggies like this, these have a big 550 brush motor in them. So it's got uh, a lot of power, even though it is brushed. And a lot of people do like to try to upgrade these to brushless because it's relative. Well, 
I've not done it yet, but from what I've heard, it is it can be a bit of a pain because of all the glued parts inside on this. That's what David was telling me the other day, my friend David over at Perth West Oz RC. So you really have to uh, have some patience there to upgrade this to brushless. But otherwise, it, it's, it's not too difficult in terms of you know finding the parts or getting anything to fit. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can pull out the body clips here and take a look underneath the hood, so to speak. And we'll show you underneath there. And again, it should be, let's see, I don't know if this pivots up. Yeah, there you can see inside of there. So it's a lot like all the other ones in this style is I don't think the whole body comes off easily with the clips. As far as I can tell, um, it just, just pivots up. Uh, where the other car, you could just pop the whole body off. And here is that big 550 brush motor. Here's your ESC receiver combo. I believe this is your power button. And here is your LiPo battery, which is a 200, uh, 2200 milliamp 7.4 volt. So 2S, like I said, just couldn't remember the milliamp. This is the same LiPo pack as the other one uses. So yeah, really neat, really cool. It just really comes down to on these cars, which body style you prefer. I'm a fan of both, so I don't think I necessarily have a preference. I like both of these. They both look great. They're not super expensive, particularly whenever you take into account the fact that you're getting all these metal parts. You're getting real metal, not plastic shocks that are oil filled, which makes a huge difference. If we drop this down, look at that dampening. Even on this, uh, not the best plastic table I have, you can see that that's, that's really nice. Really good damping. Now you do have, oftentimes need to check these to make sure that it feels like they have adequate uh, oil and that they're not underfilled or overfilled. And these feel pretty good to me. If anything, they might be a little bit, like they might need a little bit of oil added. I know on some of these cars, they come with too much oil. I think Donnie's over at Big Drone Flyer 77, I thought he, his, I think his, his 19, the other version, it was a little overfilled. Now, if that happens, your, your shocks are going to be almost bound up. They won't want to compress. And these do not feel that way to me right offhand. So let's go ahead and just take a look at what else comes in here. Obviously, you're going to have the controller in here. It's the uh, standard WL Toys uh, style controller they use for many of their cars. They've used, well, even before they upped their game with these higher end metal um, models, they use this controller even back to their older versions um, that were more plastic based RC cars. And these are a pretty nice little uh, controller. I always I'm a fan of the foam grips. It just is comfortable on your, on your fingers on the steering wheel here and it gives you good grip. You're not going to slip like a plastic wheel. You're, you might slip and if your hands are sweaty or tacky, I mean the foam just going to grip to it really well. If you've got sweaty fingers or something on plastic, it may actually slip on you. Then your on and off switch here, your throttle reverse and brake. And then this is your throttle dual rates here. And this is your steering trim. So this is, if you want to set the speed down to where it can't go as fast with this, this is obviously the line you're steering up. Hopefully this stays in focus. I've got my camera set on autofocus guys. It's pretty good about it. Not jumping around a lot. But sometimes if I get my finger up here and this down here, the camera doesn't know what to focus on and then it's going to jump around on you. And let's see how many uh, batteries it takes. It takes four double A's. I just couldn't remember offhand. And let's see, I think inside the box that may have been all that was in there. Yeah, it should have. That should be pretty much it because obviously, as I said a while ago, the charger is in here and you get your wheel wrench here for the wheels and then the instruction manual, which will, we could take a quick look at that in there. Instructions are usually pretty decent with these. It's not the biggest instruction booklet, but it's not the smallest either. Here you go, just some basic usage stuff, which is you know not not a big deal. But here's some explosive use, and this is what I always like to look at. It's going to show you how to fix this car if something breaks, and yes, it does. Everything down to how to uh, assemble the uh, shocks. And you can see here, guys, it just has everything. So yeah, this is what you want. If you need to make a repair or something breaks and you need to get in there and you want to know where that part is and how it goes back together, 
because it's easy sometimes to take this stuff apart and then you're like oh crud how do i get this back together because if you don't take pictures which i always recommend especially now that we have uh smartphones everywhere take pictures as you're taking something apart then you'll remember but this instruction manual is important because back in the day as i always like to say we had kit cards which had instruction manuals and you because you had to put them together now everything's not everything but nearly everything's ready to run so it's nice to have an exploded view and at least give you an idea how to make a repair so that should be pretty much everything that comes in the box guys i don't want to make this video too long because for one if you're really into this hobby well you probably already have seen this car so hopefully if you're checking this out you're a subscriber or someone that just wants to help support the channel and just wanted to at least watch the video here and see if I have any added notes or thoughts compared to everybody else. But again, this is not exactly new. It's not old, but in the RC world, it's really fast moving, especially this stuff from China. And it's even something a few months old is like yesterday's news lots of times. So I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Be sure to give it a like. It's really important because I just don't get a lot of those and I don't want to pander to you guys. But if you just give me a like or if you think I suck, <laughs> at least give me something there because that helps YouTube to see that my channel is being watched and you guys are encouraged to interact with the channel. And leave me a comment. If you have a question, I respond to everybody. I will not ignore. If I don't respond to you, it's only because YouTube for some reason didn't tell me I get it. Sometimes the YouTube creator app will tell me I get a comment and the YouTube uh, regular app doesn't and then vice versa. So occasionally I don't because I missed the comment. That's the only time that I will not respond to you. And so make sure that you do that. If you got a question, also if you're interested in this, so we purchased link to this on the God Toy website. So check that out in the video description be sure to subscribe to the channel guys if you're new i really 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 appreciate it and make sure that you uh, click that bell so you know that i do my upload new videos you'll get notified and as always guys have a wonderful day the power of the dark side, side, side.